Hey, Seth David here with the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated, bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're talking about the QuickBooks Online Test Drive. The Quick, there are actually two QuickBooks test drive companies. One is for QuickBooks Online Advanced. The other for the other versions of QuickBooks Online. I believe it's largely based on QuickBooks Online Plus. Uh, the other versions of QuickBooks Online just have a few fewer bells and whistles. Um, but the thing about this is you can use it, A, to learn how to use QuickBooks Online, and B, to test your theories on how the accounting should work. So if you have a particularly complicated transaction, you're not sure if the way you're thinking of recording it is going to work or if it's the right way, you can go into the test drive company and uh, log in, set up your data to recreate the scenario. And this way you can test those scenarios out without messing up your own live data. It's a great way to test things out. A couple of things, though, to prepare before you go into this, because the one thing about the QuickBooks Online Test Drive companies is that once you log out, everything resets. So you'll lose anything you've changed in there, which means you have to be prepared to uh, do your whole scenario test from start to finish. You know, get all the data in there to recreate the scenario, do the actual testing, look at the outcome, because it's not like you can set it up now and go back a few hours later. One other thing you'll want to do, and I mentioned this in the write-up, is you'll want to come over here into the settings. So you'll click the gear icon, go to account and settings. And in the advanced settings, all the way at the bottom, you'll see this option here. And this, by the way, is useful for your own live companies too. A lot of people don't know about this. But by default, QuickBooks will sign you out if it thinks you're inactive for an hour. And by the way, your definition of active is probably not the same as Intuit's. I've been in here running reports and things, but not actually adding or editing transactions. And I've gotten signed out because evidently running reports isn't enough to be considered active <laughs> according to their definition, at least not as of the last time I tested this. So I just get into the habit of going in and changing this to the maximum in all cases, which is three hours. Okay, so change that setting, first of all, before you go into the test drive company so that you'll give yourself plenty of time to go in there, you know, and set up your data. The beautiful thing about this is they've got it loaded up with sample data. So if you want to play around with bank feeds, you can go right here into the banking area area and they've got some stuff loaded up in here so you can play around you can play around with adding rules and seeing how those will affect these existing transactions you can even upload a csv file and test out that scenario so you can go into your actual bank account download a csv file with your banking data for the current month and then upload it in here and play around with creating rules and see how they work you know where they do work where they don't work that sort of thing again you can do all this here and that's an example of where you can even bring in some of your own live data to test things out without messing up your actual live data and then of course once you've confirmed that things are working the way you'd expect then you know you're good to go in terms of uh, going out and doing the same stuff in your live data file of course you can go into any area here and I encourage you to do this um, and test out uh, what do you call it let me just get rid of slack here um, you can test out entering any different kind of transaction so you have access to everything you know your expenses and the vendors that of course go with the expenses in your sales area you have access to everything you can play around with setting up products and services right and you can play around with categories they have some sample data here again where they've used categories so you can play around and see how that stuff all plays out by the way categories have two really good use cases one is in how it organizes the products and services list but also um, certain reports will subtotal based on category and thirdly when you're um, pulling up a product or service in a form such as an invoice if you know the category you can start typing the category and it will only bring up the uh, the items that are you know placed inside that category um, so this is a really cool way want to test out projects great let's go here and add a customer new customer my new customer I know very original and then I can go into projects here and I can say start a project project name death star destruction for the customer my new customer right and then notes whatever so you can easily go in and create your own sample project and it's giving me tips because I'm in the sample file so it's going to give you these tips explaining to you how all this stuff works so if you feel like you just want to skip through all this you can just exit out right but now I can start adding things to the project right invoices and then receive payments and so on so I can really play around with this and learn how this stuff works in the test company 
so that again, I don't mess up my own live data until I feel like I really know what I'm doing now having tested it out in the test drive company. So this is a great way to really dig in and learn everything you can about QuickBooks Online or QuickBooks Online Advanced. Advanced, by the way, has custom fields, so definitely get into the Advanced Test Drive company and play around with the custom fields, see what you can do with them. There's a lot of amazing use cases and there's so much versatility and flexibility in the kinds of custom fields you can set up. You can set up drop downs and all kinds of things. It just, um, the possibilities are endless. So. Go ahead, go ahead, use the links I've provided here in the write-up, and, uh, and go ahead and play around with these sample companies. Of course, if you have any questions, come right back here into Nerd Buzz and post your comments below or wherever you're watching this. If you happen to catch this on YouTube or Vimeo, then just uh, drop your comments there below, and of course, I'll get back to you with the answers. But if you are on YouTube or Vimeo and you want the detailed write-up with the screenshots and things, uh, in general, you're always better off getting this content in Nerd Buzz, which is right on my website at new.nerdenterprises.com. And then you'll find a course. Once you've set up a free account on my site, you'll have access to a course that's called Nerd Buzz. And that's where you'll find all of this content. As always, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, or feedback, you know where to reach me. I hope you learned something here, had some fun along the way. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. And I look forward to seeing you on the web.